We recently finished a project with MC Machinery creating a graphite scorpion. So MC Machinery sells Mitsubishi machines, OPS Ingersoll, and they do a lot of EDM work. They had a machine on their floor specialized for cutting graphite electrodes and they let us jump in there and create this really cool Scorpion. This part was a joint partnership effort for IMTS between Mastercam and MC Machinery, and we were also helped out by Dia Edge Tools and Fifth Axis for the fixturing. This model is a really complicated model. It's something really difficult to program, kind of stretches Mastercam's abilities, and then we go and make it out of a really difficult material, easy to machine, but really brittle and something really delicate. So we need to show off lots of control. Over the next series of videos, I'm gonna walk through and show you some of the tools in Mastercam that made this Scorpion possible, with the intent of showing you that the same tools you have access to every day in Mastercam were the same exact tools I used to make the Scorpion. Let's take a brief look at how this part was programmed. This part was done in three setups. Each of these setups was done on top of a fifth axis rock lock base. So the first setup is a simple stock prep. The stock prep operation is mounted inside of a fifth axis vise. In this operation, we install the four stud holes for the rock lock pull studs into the big blank of graphite. The second setup or op one is where we mount those pull studs directly into the rock lock base and we complete a large amount of the Scorpion from one single side. This stock model shows the condition of the material after op one. So you can see we have basically the entire underside of the Scorpion done in one setup, including lots of the tail. We use threaded holes on the bottom of the part to mount to a custom fixture on the fifth axis base for setup number two. And in setup number two, we simply remove the rest of the material gradually working our way down. You can see these stock models here. We can kind of take some steps through and show basically how we needed to brace this part using its own material. A part that's this brittle, we found that it was more important to keep the part braced with material rather than get the material out of there fast. So it's important to keep track of where your material is at all times, which makes stock models really, really important for this part. And you can see exactly how in this case with these stock models, we had to segment the tail one segment at a time, roughing, finishing, roughing, finishing, all in individual segments. As we remove more material and get closer to the finished product, we have to be very strategic about where we leave material. As we reach the end of this part, we end up finishing the center section of the scorpion body and leave a lot of material on the legs because the legs are the final thing that hold the scorpion body to the fixture. And of course, they are the weakest part of this entire project. So very gradually, we can see now we're, we're looking down toward the very end of the project where we have nothing but some extra material on the legs where again, we're just gradually removing that material, stepping down and using the material as a brace or basically as a fixture to hold the part until ultimately we reach the very bottom level of these legs where we can finish the tops of the feet and the bottom of this base. This part was a really big challenge. It was a lot of fun to make. There's a little bit of trial and error. And again, in this series of videos, we're gonna show you the exact tools we use to make this part possible. 